Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Fortnite video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to find the secret battle star for week 3, aka the uh, road trip battle star. It's basically the equivalent of the blockbuster stars we had from season 4. Now they're called the road trip stars and where you can find that. I'm also going to be covering where you can find this week's normal battle star as well as a full guide on all the challenges. We'll get into all that in a minute and this will cover everything you guys need to know in today's video. If you guys didn't know, I've been giving away a bunch of battle passes as well as V Bucks codes. Of course, it just comes in a V Bucks code, so you can use it for a battle pass, for a new skin, for a glider, for an emote, whatever you want to my subscribers. And basically, I'll show some of the winners up on the screen. These are the winners I've been showing in my videos tonight because these are the winners from the last couple of days. Um, these are some of them up on the screen. If you want a chance to enter, I'm still giving away more to celebrate the start of season five. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. If you're not subscribed, you can go ahead and subscribe right now. Then you have to comment down below what device you guys play on. Uh, or what console, whether it's Xbox, you know, uh, Nintendo, Switch, whatever it is, PS4, comment that down below. Also, smack a like on this video. I'd appreciate that. And let's get right into it. So, first off, I'll start by showing you guys the secret Battle Star spot. Now, this is for the Road Trip Battle Star. So, in order for this Battle Star to show up, what you're going to have to have completed all three weeks of challenges, you know, so or, or any any three weeks of challenges. But at the time I'm making this video, there's only three weeks, so you're gonna have to be completed those three, or else this won't show up. Now this is where it's gonna be located, right at the corner here of J2, and uh, basically the southwest corner. That was the hint in the loading screen, and that's where it's gonna be located, right on that patch of dirt. Now it doesn't show up for me in this gameplay because, of course, I'm recording this early because I want to get the info out for you guys. But once again, you must have completed week one, week two, week three, or if you're watching video in the future any three weeks of challenges to get that loading screen and to have this battle star pop up now to complete all the challenges that's what i'm going to cover for the rest of this video a full guide on this week's challenges challenges now the first one is to deal damage to opponents in a single match 500 damage now this one might be actually a little bit difficult to more casual players or beginner players 500 damage is a decent amount now the average uh, person has either 100 to 200 health in the game so on average that will be between two and a half and and five kills to get that in a single match. Now that can be actually quite difficult to uh for, for some players to do and my suggestion for this is of course it's damage not elimination so even if you're at a distance and you're just hitting people with damage you're going to be able to, to, to do that one uh, my solution for this would just be specifically go tilted towers play it a little bit safe land at the top well I guess it's not really safe but land at the top of the tower get some shots in early and sort of stay up there with that height advantage and just try to do as much damage as you can to enemies to try to complete this if you're a more advanced player this one should come naturally it might take a couple tries or even a lot of tries for a more beginner player but um that's what the challenge is next challenge is going to be to use a launch pad use a launch pad is fairly simple you basically just use one of those jump pads really really simple all you have to do they're the purple launch pads not to be confused with the blue bounce pads once you use that that challenge is complete and you get five battle stars next is to follow the treasure map found in flush factory now this one is going to be the normal battle star for the week so this is not the secret one but the location for it i'll show in a picture up on the screen right now this is where it's going to be this is from my video earlier um, but i have confirmed this location it's not there because i recorded the video earlier but it's up on the mountain right beside fatal fields you go up there you just simply grab it and that gets you that battle star to get you those 10 points um that's going to be the fall of the treasure map found in flesh factory fairly simple challenge and that's how you're going to complete that one now i want to mention the background gameplay for a second this background game play is a game where I get a good amount of kills but I actually don't end up winning the game I die with like I don't know maybe 10 people left seven people left something like that uh, but it, I did get a good amount of kills with this drift skin which I'm absolutely loving and I finally hit level four with it I think when I got this game play I had like level three but I finally hit level four and this thing is an absolute monster of a skin next challenge search seven chests in fatal fields everyone knows every single week there is this challenge to search seven chests in a location I'll show up on the screen right now the the map thank to thanks to Fort Rise N or Fort Risen on Twitter, they came up with this map and it's really really awesome. Um, basically, what it's going to be is this is the Fatal fa uh, Fatal Fields chest locations, and you're gonna have to search seven chests at Fatal Fields. Now, for this one, a lot of people are going to be, of course, heading towards that main house. But if you look at it, the main house only has two chest locations. 
in my personal opinion, the places where you're going to want to land are going to be more around that right side, right where there's that mini barn and then over in the woods. Try to get those locations as many times as you can. Of course, this is seven chests, but you don't have to complete it in a single match. So you can do it over and over and over again. And then eventually, obviously, right now it's going to be super hectic around Fatal Fields with the Battle Star being there, with this challenge to be there. But it shouldn't be too hard to complete if you give it a good try. And uh, I suggest going for the lesser uh, populated areas of that because it can get frustrating trying to go for that house every single time people landing before you if you get a good landing you get one to two or maybe even one to three chests per game this will be done in a couple of games and you can also get some cool kills there because of course it's going to be packed over there next challenge is going to be to shoot a clay pigeon at different locations. Now, basically, for the celebration of Fortnite's um, Fortnite's first, uh, basically, one-year anniversary or one one-year birthday, that's what they're calling it. Um, basically, they added this mini game where it's clay pigeon shooting, where basically you 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 use a machine and you you pop out targets and you have to shoot them, and they are scattered all over the map. Now, they're really easy to find. Um, I'll show a map up on the screen once again from Fort Rise, and this shows you basically a guide on which uh, on like. All the challenges a little cheat uh, cheat cheat i guess you could say and you, as you guys can see where those machines are they are uh that you have to do to find five of them there actually is six of them available so you only need to do five one is north of lonely lodge one is at the very south part of the map by paradise one's uh right by that mini town south of shifty you have another one up by where by the mountain where the previous uh sort of one of the divots were to the left of pleasant park then you have another one up by uh loot lake on the on the top right corner of that and another one between lazy and risky now what you do with those machines is when you walk up to them and find them um basically they're at those exact locations that are located on this map so it shouldn't be too hard just look at the map and go to that exact location you you press and you interact with the machine it shoots out a little frisbee or a little rubber duck and then you have to shoot that out of the air you have to do one at each location or one at five of these locations um, and basically the easiest way to shoot them out of the air is to use a shotgun and just hip fire because of the way the shotgun shoots with a spread uh, you get a nice spread on that and then basically you're going to be able to uh, complete that one so that those are all the locations hopefully that will help you guys out with that challenge Next is to eliminate five opponents in Haunted Hills. Eliminating opponents in Haunted Hills won't be too hard. I think they're doing this because they want Haunted Hills to be more of a populated area, which makes sense because I honestly, I honestly think Haunted Hills and Junk Junction are pretty underrated because especially in solos, if you're playing for a win, you can land there, you can loot up, and there is a bunch of chest locations there and some good spawns as well as a good path up through Pleasant Park, which usually always isn't fully looted over to tilted maybe you hit a rift and boom you're into the action with everything so you have to eliminate five people at haunted hills no really tips for this one except try to get a good landing land on where you see a guaranteed weapon don't try to risk it and you know maybe oh, i know there's a chest down here sometimes or i see something land on a guaranteed weapon get those five elims at haunted hills you can do this in as many games as it takes you next is explosive weapon eliminations with three now last time that this was the challenge it, it did allow you to use grenades and c4s and different stuff like that so i'm assuming it will again um even though it does say explosive weapon elimination so just use you know whatever you can uh, uh, for explosives probably the easiest two to get explosive kills with or easiest three easier than grenades would be c4s and then of course the grenade launcher and the rpg those are definitely the easiest ones hope you guys did enjoy this video that's gonna be your full guide on how to complete everything for this week as well as the secret battle star the normal battle star and everything like that hope you guys did enjoy this i'll leave you guys with the gameplay get like a couple more kills and but then i eventually die um if you guys want to watch the end of it and that's about it guys hope you guys all have a fantastic evening and uh good luck on the challenges hopefully this guide helped you out i'm out Peace.